Spyaker sent me their Rollator to try out and I am so excited. I have had many physical therapy clients use them and also some of my Missing Link members as well. So they sent me one so graciously, thank you so much, to try out, see how it works, and maybe even create some exercises for you guys. So I wanted to do an unboxing just to truly see what this process is like from start to finish. So the first thing I want to point out is how light this is. This was sitting just as this is on my doorstep and I first thought, oh my gosh, how am I going to bring this inside? This looks so heavy. Well, it has a carrier handle right here and it is super light. So that's the first thing. This already shows me how easy it would be to take this up the stairs or put it in a car if necessary. So already loving the lightness of it, but I'm going to unbox it. So I noticed before starting this video, there are three spots of tape. So I'm just going to cut the tape in these three spots. One is down in the back, one is here on the side, and then one is up front. All right, so we've got those three spots. Now, I'm pretty sure I just open it. Sorry, plant. Okay, oh my gosh. So you open it and there's, ah, I'm so excited. Okay, so let's see how I take this out. Wow. Oh my gosh, and it's red. Do you see how I'm picking this up with one hand? What are the chances I'd ever be able to do that with a rollator? Very little. Okay. Oh my gosh, and it's red. I'm loving this. Let me get this out of the way. Okay. Lift it up. Oh, did you see how easy that came out? Wow, and we are good to go. So it does come with instructions. I personally don't often read instructions. I try to figure it out on my own, but it does come with them if you need them. But let's see here. So the first thing that I look at when I have a rollator is the height. This is way too low for me. When you are standing in the rollator, the height of the handle should be where your wrist bones are. So for me, this is about an inch or so too low. So let's see how to lower or raise the handles. Okay, so there's buttons around here. Very easy to move. Let me show you what that looks like. So right here, there's buttons. Let me try to raise that. All right, I raised it three on this side and two on this side so I can see what fits me better. The two fits me better. This side, it's hitting me about my lower forearm. This side, it's right at my wrist bone. So I'm going to lower this side, see if that's at two, easy peasy, guys this is so light I can't get over, roll so nicely, and then these are the brakes up front, so if I ever needed to stop, those brakes kick in, or you can put the brakes down to sit down, and look how high I'm sitting. I didn't realize I'd be sitting so high. Usually they're a lot lower. It's not that much different from my actual height, which is so important because when you're talking to people, if you're sitting around others, you want to feel like you're eye level. Oh my gosh. So far, this is a win, win, win. Love the lightness. Love the height of the seat. These were really easy to adjust. I'm sold. Two things that I see in my clients who use a rollator, not specifically this one, just walkers or rollators in general, are the difficulty with closing them, closing it up so you can put it in a car or take it up the stairs, and also the width of the wheels. Sometimes I've had clients kick the wheels because they're too close. So one thing I'm already loving before I even take this for a walk is how wide these wheels are in the back. There's very little chance anyone would actually kick the wheels or the legs of the rollator, even if you walk with your feet wide apart. So I'm loving that. And it has this cutout right here that I'm assuming is what you pull up on to close it. And it closed so easily. There's literally zero resistance. 
and then you just push it back out and you're good to go. I'm loving this. There are a bunch of MS specific exercises that you can do with a rollator if the rollator is safe and stable and moves easily without being too slippery. So, so far, this rollator by the Byacre seems like it would be a perfect one to do with your MS specific exercises. So I'm gonna try it out and I'm gonna record some exercises that we can do with our rollator. In this video, I am going to show you my favorite exercises using the Byacre Walker. And there's going to be two that are standing and one for balance. So let's jump right in. One of my favorite standing exercises with the body acre is marching. And the reason that I like this exercise is because when you're walking, if you watch this leg, I have to be able to lift my leg up like this in some degree. It doesn't have to be super high, but you do have to lift it up to bring it forward if you want to then walk in a forward direction. So we have to practice that lifting motion. So if you put your brakes on the by acre and you would stand up nice and tall, tighten your core muscles and just practice lifting your leg. Lift and down and just lift as high as you can. And you can do the same thing on the other side. Now, if you put a lot of weight through your by acre and therefore you're really pressing down, this might not be the most stable surface for you because there are wheels. So you might want to hold on to something a little bit more sturdy, like a chair or a countertop. But for most cases, if you're using the rollator properly and holding your body weight up straight, then lifting like this should be more than safe. Another movement required from walking is bending our knee. This is a big toughie for a lot of those with MS, but as I'm stepping forward, I need to bend my knee in order to lift it up to do that marching movement. So bending that knee is another exercise that you can do right here at the by acre. And then you can switch sides. Always make sure you do both sides for every exercise that exists. My last exercise that I love for the by acre is balance. Balance is required for walking, and if you don't have good balance, that may result in falls or injuries. So, what you can do for my favorite balance exercise is you're going to be facing forward, feet are about shoulder distance apart, and one foot is forward, one foot is back. So you're in this staggered stance position, and you'll see how light the rollator is. I can just lift it up like that, but you're in this a staggered stance, your feet are not one in front of the other. They stay hip distance apart, one's forward, one in back, knees slightly bent. You didn't have to move the rollator away. I just wanted to show you the position. Stand up tall, core muscles are tight, and then let go with one hand. And make sure you're not pressing down super heavy on this hand. It's just there for light support or guidance. And then switch hands. And if you can, maybe let go of both hands. Keep them close by if you do feel unsteady, that way you can hold on to it if you need. But the goal is can you stand in staggered stance balance near your rollator? When you're done, switch sides and see if you can balance with one hand or the other or no hands at all. In order to walk, we not only need to be able to bend our knee and lift our knee up for those two exercises that I just showed, but when you put that leg down, we're in this staggered stance. So those three movements are required to walk better, which is why those are three of my favorite rollator exercises. There are a bunch of different exercises that you can do for strengthening, stretching, balance, and walking with the guidance of a rollator. One of the most important things is that you do not put 100% of your body weight through the device. That can often lead to falls or just being unsafe, especially if you are outside in varying weather. So make sure that when you are using a rollator for your exercises, you are using your core muscles, you're standing up as tall as you can, and you are just lightly using the rollator or walker for light support or guidance, but not for fully bearing all of your weight. For more MS-specific walking exercises, feel free to check out my online MS wellness program, The Missing Link. This is an online program where you will get MS-specific exercises and symptom management strategies for things like stretching, strengthening, balance, walking, fatigue management, and so much more.
For more information, feel free to head over to my website, missinglink.com, so you can see a behind the scenes video at what the missing link includes, and therefore get a sense on if it would be a good fit for you or not.